This video is sponsored by Tetley's Green Tea. Hey what's up y'all, I'm back with some more delectable slop ready for consumption. I spent the past week quite ill, but that didn't stop me from cooking up some herbalism farms for y'all to absolutely line your pockets with. Now, while gathering professions are a bot-dominated industry, it's not to say that there isn't still money to be made for the real, hard-working, red-blooded humans. That being said, I would recommend using flight form while farming herbs as opposed to dragon riding. I have a whole video explaining why and showing examples of how it's faster, so if you're interested in my explanation, I'll leave it in the description. Anyways, all of that aside, let's get right in. The first herbalism farm I want to show y'all is in the Burning Steppes. While the zone is predominantly known for farming mithril, the amount of sungrass and firebloom is also quite noteworthy. Also, the zone is small enough so that if you're dual gathering, you can make a loop in just about the same time it takes for nodes to respawn, meaning that you have essentially an endless supply of nodes to hit. After an hour of farming, I gathered a total of 720 herbs for a total of 8,545 gold in value. Now while the farm is pretty good, the next one is arguably even better. Elwyn Forest is a lot of people's first zones, it's the human starting zone after all. But what people don't realize is that there's actually a pretty decent triple herb farm here between Earthroot, Peacebloom, and Silverleaf. You can pretty much fly across the zone in a random zigzag pattern as the nodes respawn are insanely short, and by the time you make a lap, the herbs will be back up. I farmed herbs in Elwyn for an hour, gathering a total of 732 for a total of 2,546 gold. This farm is also good because if you're a brand new player, this farm is both accessible and extremely easy. It's definitely something worth doing if things like carries or 2x4s are out of your reach. Azuna is one of those farms that no one has covered, which I personally don't understand. With the abundance of Aethril throughout the zone, and also having the highest auction price excluding Starlight Roses for Legion herbs, it only makes sense to farm. Being Legion, you want to make sure you have your Aethril skill maxed out to maximize the amount of Aethril you're collecting. If you don't have it, then that sucks. Unfortunate. After farming for an hour, I gathered 2,378 herbs for a total of 13,494 gold in value. Definitely one of the sleeper herbalism farms in the game, so I'd recommend getting on it if you're looking for quick and easy gold. The Jade Forest is another easily accessible zone that has a metric ton of nodes spread throughout it, notably Green Tea and Rain Poppy. If you don't have Pandaria Herbalism, you're going to have to learn it from Orchid Keeper Li Mei, located here in Poudon Village. Also, it's important that you have Mist Piercing Goggles equipped, as it will allow you to see bonus nodes that would be invisible and not interactable without. Doing a lap around the zone usually takes 10 to 15 minutes, so by the time you loop back down to Poudon, all the nodes should be respawned, meaning in theory, you could farm for as long as you'd like. After farming here for an hour, I gathered 1,020 herbs for a total of 5,395 gold in value, which is pretty good for the amount of effort required. Hey, green tea sure is nice, but I wish there was a way for me to have it in real life. Well, do I have news for you? Today's video is brought to you by Tetley's Long Leaf in Pure Green Tea. With bold, refreshing flavors, as well as dangerous levels of heavy metals and pesticides, Tetley's is a great way to start your day with some energy, as well as paraquat and endosulfan. When ordering, you can use code CONSTRUCT for a free bonus box, which contains several packs of Tetley's Natural Green Tea, the bags of which are lined with trace amounts of lead. I'd like to thank Tetley's for sponsoring this video, let's get back into it. The last herbalism farm that I want to get into is Northern Stranglethorn. This is by far one of the most sleeper herbalism farms out right now, because let's be honest, when's the last time you were even in this zone besides passing through to go to Booty Bay or just going to the Zulgarub entrance? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, in this zone, you're going to find a metric ton of herbs, the likes of which include King's Blood, Wild Steel Bloom, Life Root, and Bruiseweed. That's not including Strangle Kelp, which you can find along the coast. Flying through the zone and hitting every node doesn't even take that long either, as the zone isn't particularly massive. But by the time you're able to do a full lap around, the nodes should be back and ready to collect. 
being low level herbs. An hour of farming that did me 936 herbs for a total of 10,133 gold in value. This is probably one of the best old world gathering farms in the game right now and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking to corner a market that is relatively untouched by bots and turbo farmers like myself. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I spent a lot of time as usual on making this video, so I would appreciate it if you put some chapstick on, as your lips are dry. Ah, don't try and lick them now, dry ass lips having ass. Anyways, I hope you learned something, and as always, peace.